Okay, so since winter is coming uh, out here, uh, I thought it'd be a good time to do a little video about wood stoves and heat exchangers, some of the different wood stoves I've built and how they were built. So here we go. Okay, so this would be uh, wood stove number one. Uh, it's made out of some kind of uh, horrifying cryogenic container that I acquired, uh, stainless steel. Um, as you can see, the door is just cut out of the side, and then I used a uh, round bar just to finish it off. Uh, hinges are made from uh, caliper pins, brake caliper pins. I like to use those a lot for hinges because it gives you a kind of a double hinge that you can weld one side to there, one side to the door, and works fairly well for that. Uh, just latches there, and this one has a dampener that's just a screw type. Just got some holes there and a nut welded onto the inside of here. As you can see from the moths, it hasn't been used in a little while, but uh, that would be the gist of uh, stove number one. Okay, the, this would be wood stove number two. Um, this one's just made all out of uh, thick plate steel. And uh, the air intake on this one is just a metal flap over a hole. I just use a spring to hold it down on a pin. It's not a bad way to go, a little easier than the other way. Uh, the hinge on this one is a brake a rear brake adjuster screw with one side welded to the stove and the other side uh, to the door. So that acts as kind of a, the hinge you can see there. Uh, this stove has a heat exchanger on it uh, using my ice shock. So it drew uh, fresh air from outside through the heat exchanger and then it was ducted up to the roof inside the place and just the natural convection current would uh, draw air into the building nice and warm. Okay, so this is the heat exchanger off the stove. Uh, it's basically just a box that I welded together. Cut holes in the top and the bottom. As you can see inside there, uh, there's pipes running across and the smoke is going in here and just running around the pipes. You can see better here. They're all welded in. It's kind of Swiss cheese the box. So the fresh air runs through these pipes and out the other side while the smoke is running around them up this way you know uh, heats quite well uh, it can throw a lot of heat because it's right off on the top of the stove so uh, it gets all the, the first bit of heat right off the stove so so this is the third wood stove uh, it is built out of a large piece of pipe uh, that I cut in half and welded a section into so it gives it that oval look now you can see this one's a little more finished. It's actually in the cottage that I'm currently sleeping in, so uh, it's running right now. Uh, the door handle is made out of uh, just an old uh, welding hammer, you know, for slag. Uh, the door itself is just plate steel with round bar welded, and that's where the uh, seal goes into. And then the glass here is just held on by these little tabs. It's all ground smooth. Uh, hinges are homemade. And the damper on this one is more traditional. Just a sliding plate that I drilled holes into. This one's kind of got an interesting look to it. I just made these kind of funky legs for it. But uh, yeah, it works quite well. Uh, having the thick steel uh, really helps hold the heat. And uh, just a small fire will heat the building for a long time. Okay, so this is a wood stove number four. It's currently in the ice shack. Uh, the stove is made out of a propane tank on its side. Um, the bottom of the tank is cut out. That's where you're going to put your wood in. Uh, this is uh, The door is made from a second propane tank that I cut a little disc out of. Again, round, round bar just to frame it in. And the hinge is made out of a caliper pin once again. Uh, just enough play in the hinge that it can latch there. Uh, this stove, just a little bit of fun stuff on here, made this kind of fish scale, just decorative thing with the hook in its mouth. That's how you open the stove, that's your handle. And then you have the spoon, uh, that's where the air intake is. Just a spring style again. 
So you can just adjust that however you need and uh, have the hook feet on it. Uh, again, no real reason for that, but just for something fun to do. Uh, this stove does have a heat exchanger on the side of it. Uh, so as you can see underneath here, fresh air is being drawn up through this pipe, going around the side of the stove, heating up in here with some baffles. And then it's running up, as you can see, along and out, round and up there. Just because of the natural you know, heat rises, draws fresh air into the ice shack and keeps it nice and uh, warm in here. Uh, the second thing on the stove is the pizza oven. So I have a temperature gauge here uh, and a glass door so you can see what's cooking. And this is just a homemade uh, kind of chimney stove, I guess you would call it. Uh, so it's double walled all the way around. Smoke is flowing into the bottom and around the outside of the oven and up the top. So that's heating up this pizza stone and everything inside. Uh, you can get it up to 400 degrees in here, no problem, which is perfect for cooking pizza. And just kind of a weird little latch mechanism on this one. But yeah, this is what uh, keeps us warm and fed in the winter. So I guess some of the main points there is that you can pretty much build a wood stove of anything, uh, any kind of tank or steel vessel. Uh, I really like using those caliper pins for the hinges and uh, any of those dampeners work. Uh, none of these stoves are uh, up to code at all, of course, but good for ice shocks and uh, small buildings. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other videos or uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll try and put some more out uh, soon.